Thursday morning, the chopper began to ferry research teams to their sites while we watched a harlequin duck hen herd her chicks along the beach. Then we boarded the Robert Bradford for a three and a half hour trip down Saglak Fjord to camp overnight at North Arm. Everyone relaxed, including the dog, and soaked up the rays. Lunch was elegant in its simplicity and very tasty. Once again, we marveled at the passing scene, long stretches of clear blue water surrounded by mountains rising straight out of the fjord. And lots of beautiful waterfalls. Even the Camp Chief Hector Cups were impressed. At one point, Patrick, part of the student program, embarked on some lengthy explanation about sleeping pads to a captive audience. While camp was being set up, we went with Jenneth, a Parks Canada archaeologist, for a short exploration of the area. It has several old food caches, as well as the gravestone of a Norwegian explorer who came in the late 1800s. Chips of both Black and Rama Chert were present, including a long period of Inuit occupation here. On the way back to camp, we met mother and twelve chicks, but only a couple stayed around long enough for a photo op. Back at camp, we took up fishing. Dawn caught and released a couple of char. Jenny, another student, gave Ruth casting lessons. She reeled in one nice char that we cooked later in the evening. Jacko showed Jenny and Patrick how to fillet char for drying into pitsick snacks. Camp was a relaxing place before supper, while dishwashing was a social event. Afterwards, Jenny got a great fire going. We cooked Ruth's char in foil by the fire, and Gary was in charge of timing, and the fish was perfect in the end. Early Friday, the air and water were as still as could be. For our breakfast entertainment, we watched Joe Webb successfully jig for an errant pot that the tide had carried away from the dishwashing area. It had sunk about 150 metres offshore. Some capelin had left their spawn on the beach during the night. After breakfast, we donned bug jackets and headed for the other shore. There were more old Inuit food caches, some black bear droppings, and lots of garnets embedded in the rocks. Once again, the scenery captivated us from large rocks to the reflections in the otherwise unnamed North Arm Lake. On our way back to camp, we saw lots of char heading up the creek from salt water to spawn in fresh water. Not far behind was this bearded seal who was looking for a feed. Back on the long liner, there was a fine display of pitsick drying, mute testimony to successful fishing. One afternoon, we bundled up in the speedboat and went looking for icebergs and polar bears. We were suitably rewarded with multiple sightings in both cases. It was a lot easier getting close to an iceberg than to a polar bear. They are incredibly impressive beasts as they clamber along the shore, picking their way up the slopes and wandering among the rocks. At one point, we saw an iceberg roll back and forth several times before stabilizing. It went over almost 90 degrees before righting itself, and we were glad to be out of the way. On the way back, we saw some scooters playing in the surf. And then some more impressive rock formations emerging from the sea. All in all, a day of awesome sights.